Dominic Bill, this has been a tough few weeks for the doctor's family members and loved ones. When officers found him near this intersection a few weeks ago, they didn't realize he had been hit by a car. But since then, they've been able to put together an accurate timeline of the moments leading to that hit and run using footage from security cameras. We are at this time able to release some information and ask for the public's assistance. A plea from the Galveston Police Department to help find the person who killed a well-known emergency room physician. Dr. Jim Hundrup, who practiced at UTMB, died less than 24 hours after investigators say he was struck by a car. And after using security camera video from several locations, police believe this is the car that hit Dr. Hundrup in the early morning hours of December 14th. Investigators say one camera shows Hundred walking home from the entertainment district around 2 o'clock that morning. He was heading west near 20th and Post Office Avenue. Another camera shows his next steps just three blocks later. At approximately 2.15, Dr. Hundred can be seen entering the intersection of 23rd and Post Office Street. That is the moment investigators say the car comes into contact with the doctor. At approximately the same time, a small dark red vehicle believed to be involved can be seen entering the intersection at post office. Patrol officers found Hundrup shortly after lying in the street, believing he was under the influence of alcohol. He was able to give them his name. They contacted a family member and then released Hundrup to that family member. But later in the day, after getting medical attention, it was determined trauma to his head had caused bleeding into his skull, which caused him to pass away just hours later. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family of Dr. Hundrup as we search for answers to what happened that night. And back here live at that intersection where police believe the doctor was hit. If anyone recognizes that car or knows anything about the incident, contact Galveston Police. Crime Stoppers also is offering a $2,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest in this case. Reporting live from Galveston, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Keith.